Good morning everyone. Hair wash day today. Um, so I thought I would kind of just vlog my hair. Um, washing my hair this morning. Oh my god, I look awful. Sorry. I'm not going to like do a tutorial because basically I'm trying out a new um, shampoo and conditioner which is um, by Giovanni. This is the um, brand, the, the packaging. I'm not sure if you can really see that. I'll link it down below. Anyway, I haven't tried this before but I've just washed my hair and it already feels so soft. I have been getting so much shedding throughout isolation which is quite worrying. Um, I have been generally using the Pan 10 Gold series and I don't know, I did do a hair wash vlog but I don't know if I've published that yet or I haven't published it but by the time you see this I don't know if I would have published it or not, probably not. Um, I don't want to talk too much while I'm looking like this so I'm going to like get off as quickly as possible but I'm just saying that I'm trying this out today. Um, it's a smooth as silk deep moisture shampoo for damaged hair. Now I would never really say that I have damaged hair but considering the amount of shedding that I've had of lately I think um, that there's definitely something. I don't know if it's I'm, I'm overdue a treatment and maybe the treatments I'm doing at home aren't good enough. I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to use this already. I, like I said, I, my hair feels really soft. So now I'm just going to put the conditioner on, get in the bath. I might even do a little face mask quickly. Um, you know, might, might as well while I'm getting in the bath and conditioning my hair. That doesn't happen very often. Um, and then I'm not sure if I'm going to blow dry. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to blow dry my hair straight or I've tried to manipulate my curls before and it never really ends well. So <laughs> I need to really actually just dedicate some time to that. Um, so let's see, I'm just going to try and do whatever's quickest because I've got lots of work to do as well. Um, it's Sunday today but yes, yeah, still working as always. Um, I've got lots of like TikToks to do, videos to edit, that sort of thing. So I haven't really got time to spend like playing about with my hair but already it feels really soft. So I'm just going to review how I feel about my hair after I've used these products and um, I might do a bit of a skincare routine with you. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to jump in the bath now, condition my hair and um then i'll figure out how i'm if i'm gonna wash and blow dry or i mean if i'm gonna blow dry and straighten or just blow dry but i don't know if i want to blow dry it straight yet because i'm obviously doing so much dancing at the moment and sweating that it doesn't really make sense for me to blow dry my hair straight or straighten my hair because it literally reverts almost instantly but i am really really happy with the outcome so far that's just the wash um, but anyway, let me get away from you with this awful face. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually coming onto a video like this. Luckily, my following is only small. And yeah, my main goal for the end of this hair routine or hair process is to reduce my shedding. I've just had such bad shedding, so the point is I've just got no shedding by the end of this. So guys, I have now just worked the conditioner through my hair. I'm just doing it, combing it with my fingers. Um, I've got like a really like a more defined curl than i've ever had i think that's mainly because obviously i've got more afro hair now because my hair was kind of has has had a keratin treatment on it a while ago um which i haven't had for ages but um i guess when i have washed my hair at home there's been more keratin in it than there is at the moment this is probably like the least um keratin i've had on my hair um or the longest time i haven't had a keratin treatment since oh i don't even know now but anyway, so all I'm doing is just working at the conditioner through the hair. Do I have to turn that on? Steam my hair. Sexy. Okay guys, so I have just got out of the bath now. Hair is tied up. It's slightly drying already, which means I'm going to have to wet it again. Also, I realised I didn't really get much of the conditioner out of the back so I'm going to redo that I'm just going to wash it out and damp it again um, before I start the blow drying and um, just yeah the next stage in my process but what I thought I'd do now is it's annoying that it's cut my head off let me see if I can put it up here oh gosh that's a little bit better probably not most flattering I can't believe I am um, <laughs> on like making videos looking like this but I just think you have to do these things as real as possible because otherwise it makes it harder work for you and well for you for me and um yeah so I'm gonna go in now with my skincare so I've just cleansed my face and now I'm going to tone um with the sanctuary spa glycolic acid and vitamin b3 toner it's actually called um 
it's actually called a retexturizing toner so i'm just going to put that on my face and i do that just to get a bit of i don't really know what dampness is um what toner is supposed to do if i'm honest with you but I, this is just the steps i've been taking of lately i've been really trying to look after my skin because i just noticed it was getting a little bit um yeah just not looking great and so i've started to get back on top of my skincare and so this is just a new step that i've introduced this toner and i don't really do it every day um but just when i have the time and out now i have the time i'm going to do it so i've just got that in my eye so now i'm going to go in with the ordinary hyaluronic acid and i swear by this it has been a complete game changer and i put this on morning and night and to me i mean i would say this is one of the best products that i've ever used from the ordinary and obviously who doesn't love the ordinary i think so affordable um, my thing with the ordinary which is why i've been really slow at building up my collection is i don't know you know i just i'm not sure I'm not a skincare expert i'm not at all like i'm just doing this now you know because i'm getting older i'm 36 now and i thought now it's time to probably develop some sort of skincare routine and potentially um you know um some anti-aging stuff which yeah i've never ever had to do it before well not that i had to i probably should have started before but anyway i have a few things like now i'm noticing that when i get blemishes the dark spots don't disappear as quickly um i've obviously got dark circles under my eyes i will say that right now i'm start standing under a spotlight which is probably awful for it's probably making my the circles under my eyes look huge but it's actually well they probably are but it's also the shadow so just because i've put put you in my bathroom cabinet just because it's easier for me but i don't know if it's a good light but um and it's definitely making my it's just you can see it's just kind of creating that shadow there but it's okay you'll see what i look like after i've done the whole process and i move elsewhere so anyways that's the hyaluronic acid and i just recently learned from tiktok that you should always use your hyaluronic acid on your skin while it's damp so that's something i've started to do now as well um and this is my genuine routine so i'm not going to add any sometimes i do use an extra product here and there like this what's it called argyre line solution this it also targets um like dark circles fine lines which is what i'm trying to target in all situations this one so i do use that i suppose i could use it today now that i've got it out okay i'll put that on today as um yeah so i just put that under my eyes oh my god under my eyes around my eyes and on my forehead i also put it here because i notice that sometimes i do get some lines here um so not sure if you're supposed to but that's what i do right let's rub that in i notice that my the skin on my forehead is a slightly different texture to the rest of my face and i think that's because i'm really bad at remembering to like cream my forehead i also never really put makeup on my forehead it just kind of gets a bit neglected all the time so um and just start paying a bit more attention to my forehead uh -huh. so yeah i just tap that in and then i'm going to go in with another under eye cream which is the caffeine solution which is obviously like for targeting those under eyes and waking them up um so yeah it's this called it's called caffeine solution five percent egcg I will link these all down below anyway i was saying so it took me a while to build up my the ordinary collection because i was like i don't know what each of these products do and um and which ones i should use in conjunction with which so i spent about a good like maybe two weeks when i found the time just reading up on each of the products and figuring out which ones i needed what i wanted to target with my face and so i might do a um, video on all the things that I've bought from the ordinary why I've bought it and um, why I've bought it and yeah what they're for what you should use them in combination with um, so but I've always used the hyaluronic acid and the caffeine solution and um, the absorbic acid this one here which I'm not using today um, and 
okay so there's a few things i have used but i've got a, new, a few new bits since i thought what i would do is familiarize myself with them first and then um like just do a little bit of a how i found the product like a, a review and also like why i bought them and all that sort of thing so that's what i will do so after i have put all of that on my face then i go in with this organic pressed rose hip seed oil this is amazing you only need a really tiny amount of it because if you're going to put makeup on i mean if you're not putting makeup on then i would say just use it as much as you like but it says to really use this in the before bed i guess because of how oily it is but i like something to kind of seal in all of my um my treatments and stuff that i put on my face and i'm not really using a moisturizer so i use this basically as a moisturizer and i was told that because i have combination to oily skin um the oils work better on my skin funnily enough than creams so i kind of use this as my cream and it makes my skin feel amazing and that also that under eye caffeine solution oh my god what a game changer that is you instantly feel your under eyes feel like just almost like tighten um yeah and i've definitely noticed that my under eyes have started to get a little bit dark so um so yeah i'm just trying to do everything to target that to get them brighter and to get those lines to disappear um i'm also going to put some vaseline on my lips because they are not feeling great at the moment um where is my vaseline why have they all disappeared oh here they are um yeah vaseline no real fancy lip primer lip scrub lip treatment here just some good old vaseline um oh my god um that's it so that is my skincare routine uh which i do every day and most steps morning and night and then before i put my makeup on i will i've got a few primers but i'm going to use at the moment i am using the blur primer which i really really like which is also from the ordinary so let me know in the comments down below if that ordinary oh my god what did, that ordinary video sounds good but i'll make it in like maybe a week or two weeks time once i have familiarized myself with some of my newer products and um, i'm also going to have this morning i'm acting like it's morning it's not morning it's like two o'clock but um it's morning for me because i've been working all morning so i've only just been able to really tackle my hair and my skin routine so i'm also going to have a quick ginger shot which i enjoy so much and i actually just drink them slowly i would drink a whole massive bottle of this just gives me energy makes me feel less bloated just makes me feel so good and it tastes so nice this is it i know people do make them from home no that's not showing up you know it's from waitrose and um i do i like the waitrose one or the ms one but you can also make them at home anyway so that's that now so i'm going to wet my hair again and actually i might put, just put my eyebrows on so i feel a little bit more um presentable when i talk to you also i just thought i'd show you right under like away from the light this is what my skin it now it looks like it's almost like should i get in some natural light natural light is always best it is amazing look at that it's like my skin is like glass almost translucent anyway i'm looking very very oily i'm gonna go and sort my eyebrows out and yeah then i'm gonna finish off my hair so eyebrows are basically done now um just put some concealer under there i use the la girl pro concealer which um, i have used for ages and i think you would have seen it in my last vlog i think I can't even remember when I've vlogged or haven't. I've, there's so many vlogs that I've created that I haven't published yet. Because I just think, oh, does it, I'm just such a small, like, blogger. Um, you know, I'm not just a blogger. I do other things as well. But I feel like in terms of the blogging side of my business, I'm so small that who really cares about what I get, get up to on a day-to-day? -day? So I don't really share it. But then I do enjoy, I just, like, enjoy obviously sharing info and tips that i've picked up and want to do something creative with it so i feel like youtube videos blog posts are my way to do that um and maybe and i'd like to just share info and add value and i feel like for people that do follow me on instagram that do want more than just pictures and videos that actually want more value i feel like putting it on youtube is a really good thing to do or on a blog post as opposed to on instagram because it just disappears i know people do save things but 
you know, Instagram is about instant content, so it's just a bit different. Anyway, so, sorry, did I say, so I've just used, oh my god, I've just shown it away, um, the High Adherence Silicone Primer. Um, I have been using this for a while now, um, but I, of lately I've been using the Hourglass Concealer um, Primer, but I've gone back to this now because... Um, I just, it depends what kind of day I'm having and also what makeup I'm wearing. Today, admittedly, I don't really need makeup. And I quite like to not wear makeup, but because I'm doing this video, I'll just do a really basic makeup look with you. So, not really with you, but I'll just um, do um, some, I'm going to use the Ordinary Foundation. What I love about this foundation is, it's obviously, I just feel like the Ordinary stuff is just full of goodness. But also, I just like the fact that it feels like when I'm using it, it's nourishing my skin at the same time and it's not just, like, entirely cosmetic. And, you know, after you put all that goodness on your face, you then put on foundation that's going to clog up your pores and do nothing for your skin. I feel like this is still working for you, even though it is a vanity product. I kind of like putting this on my face. My skin at the moment feels absolutely amazing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get this on. Let me just get a beauty blender. I do just slightly dampen my beauty blender as well and then on we go this is so and also another thing that's really good about um the ordinary foundations is they come with like a, um, an undertone indicator so this one is 3.1 r red undertones as you can see my skin is more of a yellow undertone so this isn't the perfect match for my skin but i got it because i just really wanted to get one and it sold out of my color um but I will definitely be trying the one with the yellow undertones as well. Um, but for now, this works really well. And it just feels nice on my skin, like I said. And it's, you know, one that... I just thought, It's, like, so cheap. It was, like, six or seven pounds. Um, whereas, like, you know, some of my other foundations are so expensive that when I'm having just days chilling at home um, and maybe creating a bit of content, but I do want some, some sort of a look going on, then... I don't mind using this and like I said I just feel like it's full of goodness and when you've like put effort into putting all your um, skincare in place you kind of do want a nice um, foundation as well good foundation one that you feel like is adding a bit of goodness to your life I've got really really dark circles today so I'm gonna need some concealer uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking right now or like speeding this up and anyway, I'm gonna get some concealer and um, sort out these dark circles so like I said as always I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer this is so ready to be chucked away I don't know how I'm still managing to get stuff out of it and um, basically what happened was I ordered one I've attempted to order order this twice now from Amazon and my orders keep getting cancelled um, I've put too much now but actually I've realised I tried to order one about a month ago and I'm still managing to get so much concealer out of this. Look how much I've just got out of it. So that's one thing to know. Like, just keep... I usually would have, like, thrown this away by now. But it's still going. And I didn't even mean to get that much product out. So I'm going to put that on my jawline. Because I didn't want that much concealer. But yeah, it's just still going. And it's so cheap. It's like... I can't remember. Is it £4 or something? Anyway, this LA Girl Pro Concealer is the cheapest thing ever. And it's the only concealer... I mean, I've used, like, a MAC concealer before, but this is the only concealer I've ever bought. Um, because, you know, I've not really ever... I didn't really struggle with um, dark lines till I had... Or dark circles till I had Allegra. And, um... I've never really needed a concealer. Because I don't really get spots. Well, I do now, but I never used to get spots or anything like that. So I've always really just, um... Never had to have a concealer. And now that I've... Since I've had to use one, which has been in the last... Uh... Three years... It's always been this. Oh, I did actually tell her I did actually try the Revolution Pro. No, not Revolution Pro. Yes, Revolution concealer that Patricia Bright um, once spoke about on her YouTube and it like sold out everywhere. I did try that concealer. Um, but yeah, I've never spent lots of money on concealers. I've got one other concealer that I bought from MAC which um, was poorly recommended to me and actually it's darker than my skin tone. I don't know what this this um, makeup artist was talking about when I went to see her. But um, otherwise, this has been my main concealer. I've never really experimented or used any. I'm going to try and blend this in because, oh my god, it's like there's so much product. I wanted a quite a natural look today. Um, but this I use in the shade Fawn. And, um, yeah, I just swear by it. So I've kind of blended that in as good as it's going to get. 
and I've put on some bit of highlight down my nose. My eye am highlighted to the nans. Haven't really blended out my eyebrow concealer very well. Um, we'll do that in a minute. So anyway, that's it. I might put a little blush on, I don't know. I'm gonna do my mascara now. I do you need to see that, that's so boring. So this is my final look, really, really easy. I've just wet my hair again, although it feels like it's drying already. So I'm now going to start blow drying and heat protecting and all that sort of thing and get on with my hair. I don't know what kind of order I'm doing this in. I'm just trying to do it in a way that I can film and that makes sense and that, yeah, but it's all over the place. Been a bit of makeup, then a bit of hair, then a bit of makeup, then, um, yeah, and that, then I'll, sh once I have completed my look, blow dried my hair, figure out if I'm gonna straighten it or what, what I'm gonna do with it, then I will show you my full outfit of the day and see what else we get up to. Might make some TikToks, um, yeah, just, yeah, little, like, fashion-y, beauty type of Sunday video. Anyway, I need to get on with this hair before I have to wet it again. So, I will see you once it's all done. And then I can actually give you a full review on what I think about the products that I have used on my hair as well. I'm just going to see what I can do. I've obviously never really worked much with my natural hair. So, I don't really know what to do. But obviously, I've got lots of curly hair products because Allegra obviously has curly hair. And I also have some of my own bits and pieces. So I'm going to start with this Aveda Damage Remedy stuff, which I'm meant to put into damp hair. My hair. Oh, let's put this through my hair. <laughs> I'm not straightening it because I said there's no point because um so can I do a TikTok or whatever it would just there's no point um so I'm just gonna put it back in a pony and then tonight I will plait it and see if I can manipulate some sort of a curl or something I don't know um but that is it I really just want to do it to um to try to eliminate some of the shedding um my hair I'm not kidding you it feels like butter it feels so soft i just can't believe it and it definitely didn't feel like this when i washed it last time with the pantone gold series it's also i think it's even grown um i feel like it's grown loads um i don't know maybe it has i don't know anyway, it feels quite long feels amazing and feels so soft and smooth and like i said like better um for my aftercare stuff after I wash my hair. I put this in because I was attempting to curl it, but um, I'm not, I just, obviously I'm not curling it, but when I put my hair back in a pony, I do sometimes use this, but I'm not gonna use it now because it is aqua-based, water-based. So if I was to put it in now, it would kind of bring some of my curls back. Like it makes my hair really wavy. Um, so right now, because it's, I've just blow-dried it straight, I wanna kind of keep some of the, sh like the, sh the straighter look going on for as long as possible. Then I used, the Tresemme um, Heat Defense Spray, which I really like, and it's, you know, it's, I just love how it goes on, and you know, like, even if your hair isn't ridiculously wet or damp, this kind of dampens it as you use it as well, which is good, um, and yeah, it just makes the hair a really nice texture to blow dry, and then this oil sheen from Cantu, I use just as a, to add a little bit of sheen to it, so now that it's done, um, and a little bit of, like, oil moisture to it so now that my hair is done i don't need to add anything to it and i won't add anything to it for a while now so that's it i'm just going to put it back put some earrings in 
make myself look a bit glam and then I might see what the crew is up to maybe do a TikTok if everyone's chilling out or some colouring I'm really getting into painting now as well so I'll do something like that um TikTok oh I need to finish editing my YouTube videos that's what I need to do let's be real now that's that far too long so yeah that is it I'm quite happy in fact I'm really really happy with how my hair's come out I don't know if you can see it from behind <laughs> that I completely forgot to do my main test which was to check for any shedding so let's see wow maybe my hair just needs more treatments than regularly but yeah really really happy with that product so I'll link it down below I love it I love it. just my hair feels like butter and it does say on the packaging um for smooth silky hair and it is to hydrate the hair and um my hair i don't know if my hair's been dry or not um because obviously i do lots of protective styling i don't really brush my hair every single day so it might feel dry after three days of not touching it um but because i don't do my hair every day um I, like I wouldn't say that it's it's I, I don't think I suffer with dryness of my hair at all I just was getting really bad shedding and I've been having it ever since we've been in lockdown so I think maybe it was that my hair was just due a treatment and now um and yeah maybe I just need to be treating it more regularly like you know because I do protective style I have been able to get away with maybe only um yeah with with just treating my hair when i am going to the hairdressers like two three weeks sometimes not even that often um but maybe now i need to be like maybe doing my hair like once a week or twice a week as opposed to like pushing it sometimes to like once every three months <laughs> um or whatever or maybe like once every two months or something maybe i just need to be doing it more frequently um but yeah i'm happy with that the ends of my hair are really really um splits so i can't even wear my hair like down in a proper pony i've just put it just tucked it under and I was looking for a scrunchie of Allegro's, but I can't find one. I'm just going to get some earrings. One second. I might actually get onto Instagram in a bit as well. Um, because I haven't been on there today. Not that I have anything to say, but... <laughs> um, and maybe I can make a really quick TikTok, which would be out good. <laughs> I am totally exhausted. I have just spent basically my whole Sunday doing hair. Did my hair and then Allegra decided she wanted an Elsa plait, which I did because I thought at least if I do her hair in a plait it can save me some time or at least save me from doing her hair for the next, I don't know, two, three days. And then she will actually need to have her hair washed. So it would just help me to avoid the stress of doing her hair doing Allegra's hair is my most stressful thing to do in this very slow downtime of isolation it's a good stress to have well out of the grand scheme of things but it's stressful I'm aware that I have looked a hot mess this whole vlog so I might just elongate it a little bit so at least have one decent look in here um before I end it just to redeem myself but you know I've got other videos on YouTube where I'm glammed up and you know what this is real life um, so now Allegra wants me to do her nails so I'm going to do her nails and do mine quickly as well um, the deal was if she sat still to let me do her hair then she would then I would do her nails for her I've already started on a glass of wine exhausted literally just from vlogging and doing and creating this video although I did actually publish an IGTV this morning have I done any TikToks? I haven't done any TikToks and I haven't finished editing my video so I've still got that to do but I've done IG I've done IGTV I've created this video I have done my hair I've done Allegra's hair what else have I done today that's kind of it but I mean I feel like I've, I've done stuff I have done some TikTok I haven't published anything on TikTok maybe I should do that but yeah anyway I'm gonna go and get on Alex can I see your hair hang on let's have a look this took me took ages didn't it legs i mean look at the partings it's awful but 
who's got time to care about partings? I can just about manage to comb it, let alone get a perfect parting. So you know what, I pick my battles. The fact that she's letting me comb it is enough. It doesn't need to have a perfect parting. I just can't, I just don't care. All right, now we're gonna do our nails, aren't we? I'm do mine. And I've got this little kitty nail varnish with one of her magazines. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do my nails. Finish my wine, we've got lasagna for dinner, haven't we? And Alec was watching, what are you watching, Legs? Hotel Transylvania. Anyway, better um, switch this off or switch this TV off before I get a copyright claim, which is what happens to me a lot, actually. And I don't really know how it works. Anyway, I'm gonna get on and do this little one's nails. What are we doing, Legs? The nails and these nails. Fingernails and toenails. Finger. Not foot nails. <laughs> doing your fingernails? Yeah. Manicure and pedicure? Hello? Hello? Yeah. What am I doing? You're doing nails. Oh, Alright, okay, okay. This is one thing that I would never have done before isolation. Right, what are we starting with, please? Her legs. I'm going to switch the TV off in a minute. Yeah. Well, which one, what am I starting with? Fingernails or toenails? Fingernails and toenails. Which one should we do first? This one. Okay. She's totally obsessed with the TV. Can I see? Happy? Yeah. What colour is it? Pink. Mm. Like it? Yeah. You tired? Yeah, I'm tired. been crying lots because um, she doesn't like to have her hair done, do you? Anyway, I've got to show you this. <laughs> this is so funny. It's made me crack up. Um, excuse me. What exactly is this? Hmm? What do you think? I... <laughs> what a cheap! What you... I hope you're planning to make that yourself. Like just buy these things. Oh, this thing is the easiest thing, man. One thing exactly. Well, then, but you will buy it. I hope with anticipation of you making one it. One thing you must make. Yeah? You don't want to even do it. One thing you what? You're, you're managing to must. You must do it. Yeah, but that one is not real bacon. It don't matter. That's at least you know. First of all, Chris just flung in the um. Plus, it's more stuff than mums do. It's not mumsy thing. Yeah, it's an isolation thing. Now, yeah, um, first of all, Christian brought home a Betty Crocker um, chocolate brownie. Now he's brought home red velvet. Although that does look good. Mm. And I think red velvet is quite difficult. Did you buy that yeast as well? The yeast was at the back. Oh, that's it. Careful. Oh, quite nice, oh my god. Dinner is served. Super easy dinner today, which is good because I'm absolutely knackered. I was actually going to make a feta and spinach pie thing. So, what did you buy? Did you? Oh, so you're gonna? Did you buy salmon? Salmon? Why salmon? So no, no you pastry. No, but I said that, but instead we could just do your one tomorrow. Is what I said. Anyway. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. I am absolutely knackered. Uh, I might end this vlog here because we'll see. But it might end here if, if it does. Thank you so much for watching. Superhero. No, we're not. What's this game called? Uh, w C. Guess who, isn't it? Guess who? Yeah, yeah. We are playing. Guess who? Patrol. So far, Mommy. Christian is winning. Yes, Alec was I on my team. She's my helper. Aren't you? <laughs> Who's gonna win legs? Me! You and me! Yeah. And daddy win. <laughs> <laughs> right.